All right, thanks for having me. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Katya Kroll Hayek. I'm the director of youth programming, like Matt said, at West New York Youth Build in, in Buffalo, New York. Uh, when Matt asked me to present today, I started thinking about what I should talk about. I started thinking about uh, different service projects we've done here in Buffalo, the community impact that service has, why AmeriCorps is important, and on and on. And then I got to the part in the email that said that the objective of this mission moment is to help inspire and motivate. When I read that part, it wasn't even a question. I needed to share the story of a young man who has inspired and motivated all of us who know him. I'm gonna share with you today Jabril's story. When I spoke to Jabril about sharing his story with all of you today, I asked him if there were parts that he didn't want me to share. He explained to me that every part of his story has played a part in who he is today and it wouldn't make sense if I kept parts of it out. It would be like ripping a chapter out of the middle of a book. Jabril's story starts at a very young age. When he was only a year old, his father was arrested and eventually went to prison on a lengthy sentence. Unfortunately, this was only the beginning of a long traumatic road for Jabril. When he was just five years old, his mother was murdered by her boyfriend, leaving Jabril without parents and little hope for a healthy, stable childhood. His entire childhood was spent being bounced around from relative to relative, all determined to keep him out of the foster system, but none stable enough to provide a consistent home for him. He would often go to bed at night, not knowing if that was the last night he would be staying there or if he would even be going to the same school the next day. He bounced around from school to school, never able to get his footing academically despite truly enjoying learning. By middle school, he had stopped attending school completely and turned to a life that would take him down a destructive road. This life, however, as it usually does, would catch up to him and he eventually would get in trouble with the law. Because Jabril was a minor, he would be assigned a case manager through a juvenile justice agency and it would be through this experience that Jabril would find youth build. As part of his sentence, he would be mandated to attend youth build as an alternative sentence to incarceration. When I first met Jabril last July, I saw a young 17 year old boy who despite being forced to be here was mild mannered, respectful and shy. In fact, during the first week of program, he was so shy, he didn't want me to take his photo for our Youth Build Wall of Fame. I had to sneak a photo of him. Uh, it's the photo of him sitting at the desk right in the middle that you see. Um, while we were having a conversation, I snuck a photo of him and when I showed it to him, he said, Miss Katya, I would have never smiled so big if I knew you were taking a photo. It broke my heart to think that this young boy, still a child, didn't even have the confidence to smile for a photo. As the days turned into weeks, we started to notice things about Jabril, like really, really special things. We noticed that he was really smart despite not having attended school regularly since he was 11 years old. He entered Youth Build in July at a fifth grade reading and math level. In less than two months of attending classes, he tested at college levels in both reading and math. He's currently one subject away from his high school diploma. Maybe the most remarkable thing we noticed was his natural aptitude for construction and his love for service. It's almost unfathomable that a kid who has been underserved his entire life would find joy in service to others. Within his first month, he had mastered every phase of our Beds for Buffalo project, building handcrafted beds for children in need. At just 17 years old and a few months in a program, he could flawlessly lead a group of corporate volunteers through this service project. He naturally took to construction, often leaving our construction trainer speechless and repeatedly saying, he must have done this before. There's no way this is the first time he's learned this skill. So far, it hasn't mattered what phase of the housing project we're on, Jabril consistently stands out and excels. He rarely misses a chance to go on site squeezing in extra hours wherever he can and whenever we let him skip class. Maybe the greatest moment so far came during the electrical phase. Jabril became so fascinated with this phase and learned so quickly that he nearly wired the entire house himself. Throughout this time, our other program staff would actually take trips over to the work site just to see Jabril in action. He looked like a journeyman electrician with 40 years experience while he worked. When the city inspector came to do the inspection, there was not one error or item to fix. He inquired about who did, who we hired to do the electrical work because in his 30 years as an inspector, he had never seen such impeccable work. While Jabril's journey at Youth Build isn't over yet and we don't know for sure what's next for him, 
The one thing we know for certain is that Jibril has made a complete transformation in a short time here. We know that this man could have easily used the awful hand he was dealt as an excuse for the rest of his life, but decided instead to become someone he could be proud of. I asked Jibril to tell me about some things that have changed for him since he joined Youth Build. He told me the following things. My personality has changed. I feel different in the way I act and the way I'm able to wake up in the morning. Youth Build is something that I know will pull me up when life is pushing me down. I now have bigger goals than I used to. My only advice to you all as you continue to do this amazing work is to look for the Jibril in every youth who walks through your door. Look for the one who isn't confident enough to smile, the one who never had the support. Look for the one caught up in the system and always look for the quiet ones. Youth Build can be a real life changer for these ones and it's because of the work each and every one of you are doing that the next Jibril can find a purpose in his or her life. My favorite thing that Jibril said to me was that it brings him joy to know that Youth Build has helped him grow from a boy into a young man. So today, which just happens to be Jibril's 18th birthday, we wish him the happiest of birthdays, and we just know that this year and each one after will be better than the last. Thank you.